Hey everyone, um, welcome to this video. This week I'm going to be talking about DEF CON safe mode. And I think it was two weeks ago I made a video about what to watch at DEF CON. Um, and this week I want to talk about what I watched. I didn't really want to make this video, but uh, everybody wanted it. <laughs> I was totally expecting people to not really care. Uh, since it's a lot more personal to what I learned and how it fit in with like my overall goals, um, as well as providing a few recommendations for things that some people might have missed. So this week I'm just going to be going through some of the talks that I really enjoyed, talking about why I enjoyed them, and why I think that perhaps you might as well. Um, so a really simple, straightforward video this week, nothing too technically complex. Um, the first recommendation, and I do say recommendation, um, was Alyssa Miller from Barista to Cybersecurity Pro. And this was in the Career Hacking Village. The Career Hacking Village is new this year. Um, and such a good talk that came out of like one of the, a new village was incredible. Um, this was from Barista to Cybersecurity Pro. And it had so much good advice. Like there's going to be a few people like me that are going to be job hunting during the pandemic. And you know what? This... This was full of so much good advice, like so, so much good advice, actionable advice, um, everything from how to write a resume to how to get past automated systems to how to shine in interviews. It was incredible. And, you know, you would pay for this kind of advice. And Alyssa is such a good speaker. And like, I was captivated. This is actually the first talk I watched from DEF CON. And I wasn't originally going to watch it because I was like, yeah, I know everything about getting a job. I've gotten a job before, um, but I'm so glad I watched it because it was really, really, really interesting. And I just thought it was amazing. I provided some notes on my Discord server because I was like, oh my God, people have to know about this talk. This talk is incredible. <laughs> this <laughs> this one of the best things I've watched. Um, so really, really good talk. And also from the um, uh, Career Hacking Village, um, was this talk on uh, being an entrepreneur and starting your own company. Uh, again, such good, like, good ad advice and good, interesting content from career hacking, uh, something that's only just started up this year. Um, really, really good. And if you, in case you didn't know, running a YouTube channel is like running a business. I have to do all of the fun things that businesses do. Um, so yeah, really good. Um, but those are kind of more soft skills. Um, let's talk about some bounty hunting and some technical skills. So this one was from the Payments Village. Payments Village is a new um, village this year. Uh, and this was Fear and Loathing in Payment Bug Bounty by Timur Yonasov. That's where I'm going with it. Um, this was really, really interesting. There was some good, um, there was such a kind of trains of thoughts. One was that there's quite a lot of disruption to be made in terms of finding bugs in payment systems. And the other was like, what constitutes a bug where you have cybersecurity companies, you know, does kind of more traditional finance based bugs count for bug bounty hunting? Um, and that was really interesting to listen to. And it was very interesting to hear his thoughts and specifically of what went well and what didn't go so well. And um, he also talked about how he got the attention of some people that needed to hear and gave some advice for that as well. And that was really interesting, especially for something that was like a little bit different. Um, it was certainly interesting to hear about like a focus on payments because it's not something you necessarily see. Um, and one thing that he brought up was that bug bounty does seem to be more being adopted more in finance and banking in general, um, which is really good for consumers because it means that our stuff has got less bugs in it and we need banks. Um, so that was really interesting. I didn't catch much of the payment village, uh, but after watching this, I wish I had because I thought this was really interesting. Um, the next one is comes from a place of love in my heart. Uh, and this was the AI village. Now, I don't want to go on too much about the AI village because I think the AI village has some really technical AI talks in it 
that I don't really recommend to people watching this. Not because I think you won't be able to understand it, but I think because you'd realise how boring AI actually is. But this was really interesting. Um, so, I, in case you didn't really know much about me and you maybe haven't watched my like long-term story, I'm a PhD student. My PhD is in uh, machine learning. It's in natural language processing, which is a type of machine learning and that's done on text. Um, so my background is far more in data science than it actually is in cybersecurity. I kind of ended up in cybersecurity somewhat accidentally. Um, and one thing that I always really want to do is look at ways I can bring my knowledge of AI into bug bounty. Now, this weekend, I'm going to be talking at bug crowd level up about AI and like introducing AI to people who have a security background. Um, and my PhD does it quite well. But I always find that I really want to do bug hunting AI because I think that's really interesting. Um, and this was a really good paper, uh, Summoning Demons, The Pursuit of Exploitable Bugs in Machine Learning. And one thing I thought was particularly good about this paper was this discussion of the attack surface of machine learning. So instead of looking at machine learning as a method to find more bugs, looking at machine learning as a place to find bugs, and this is something I'll bring up in my bug crowd talk um, this weekend, but the, the panel discussions were really interesting and there was a lot of people having really good thoughts on um, bugs and what is a bug in machine learning and when do we kind of make the difference between a bug and not a bug. And actually some of the, I think it was one of the panellists or it was somebody in the chat who was a member of the AI Village who'd actually got a CVE for a machine learning based bug. And that's super interesting. Um, so if you're interested in AI, this is the talk I'd recommend watching. There's also, um, which I didn't put on here because I didn't actually watch it. There was also a workshop on starting AI. So if you're interested in that, I'd really recommend that workshop as well. Um, which I think is both on their Twitch. I don't think this one's on YouTube yet, but the links will be all below. Um, and sort of going away from my pet love to something that I really don't find that enjoyable. <laughs> I was exploit development. Um, so I really don't do much actual cybersecurity, but I'd watched uh, Georgina do this t or do a talk at ActivityCon um, and do the keynote. And she was an amazing speaker and she was so interesting as a speaker and her life story was fascinating. And I felt really uplifted, really motivated by her talk. I decided to watch this workshop that was two hours long. <laughs> Um, and it was great. Like she's such a great speaker, and she's you can really tell how deeply she knows her subject matter. A lot of it went straight over my head, like way, way, way over my head. Didn't really understand it, but actually, some of it was really, really, really good. And I can really recommend this if you're interested in kind of more binary level exploits. Um, she's got a book as well, which is something I really want to pick up. So let's get back on to kind of something perhaps a little bit more relevant to bug bounty hunting. Um, and this was um, Chloe's talk, How to Start a Movement Hacker Edition. If you haven't seen any of Chloe's talk, she did so many at DEF CON, um, I highly recommend it. She's a great speaker, super engaging speaker. And what she does is fight for rights for hackers and... Um, she wants to get kind of hacker rights in place and her mission to get these hacker rights incredible her talk on burnout uh, and she's done a talk on burnout a few times but her talks on burnout resonate with people so I really recommend watching um at least a talk on burn burnout this one is good if you're looking at kind of the wider issues in cybersecurity, especially, you know, bug bounty, we deal with having kind of safe harbours. Sometimes you don't get safe harbours. Sometimes you get companies who don't really care that they, they've said they've got a safe harbour in place and actually have taken people on their bug bounty hunt, uh, bug bounty programs to the FBI. So really good talk. She did so many talks at DEF CON highly recommend watching the the burnout and this talk so again for bug bounty hunting we have um daniel here 
who's, oh my god, if you could watch this talk and not be inspired to turn everything into a script, you have missed out on the point of this talk. It is so good and it's so inspiring and it just makes you think about, oh, what can I automate next? Um, if you're really interested to recon, this, I'm afraid, is required watching for you. Um, especially in, like, automating bugs. Like, 100%, if you ha are interested in that, you should be watching this. Like, you should stop this video right now and watch this one instead. It was so good. Um, and even top hackers have been really inspired by this talk. It's, like, honestly, it's called Mechanising the Methodology. It's in the Red Team Village. Um highly recommend it like the whole idea of finding vulnerabilities while you're doing something else sounds a bit kind of clickbaity um but it's not actually clickbait you can actually do this um by by uh, automation it was really 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 good so highly recommend that one um something a little bit different here not necessarily uh bug hunting but the hacking democracy there was uh, a few panels on um the uh election security stuff sorry i forgot how to speak for a second um and this one was really really good jack cable if you've not seen any of his work he's a bug hunter who works very closely with um the u.s government he's very involved with them um and especially bringing bug hunting to places in the u.s government super interesting he's done some stuff on voting machines he's done some outreach stuff and honestly one of my favorite parts of conferences even in real life and actually going to them is listening to panelists because it's all well and good to listen to what someone has prepared in terms of a talk um but it's really something different to see people's opinions discussed and discussed in detail uh and really like explained upon and there were so many interesting things coming out of the voting village uh, I know a lot of people who follow me aren't necessarily in the states and don't really care <laughs> that there's an election this year um, but if you are in the states I'd, I'd argue this is required reading for you as well um, it's just it's so good especially in the place we're at right now um, when you know we've got covid happening um, we've got the US Postal Service is being like shut down so voters can't get mail-in ballots. Um, we've got a president who has joked that he'd stay on past the term limit in the States. I think um, voting and securing elections is like on everybody's lips at the moment. And I think this is a really good panel to watch. Um, yeah, I think... If if you're gonna if you're American, you should watch this. Uh, and finally, here my final kind of thing I watched. Bearing in mind this is just things that I watch, so it's not necessarily um, everything at DEF CON. Um, but this was super interesting. This is finding and exploiting bugs in multiplayer game engines, and it goes through the basics of game exploits so well and so easily, like easily understood. Um, I learned a lot by just listening, like, how you fast forward, like, how you manage to get your character to fast forward through the game and stuff like that. Um, really, really, really interesting. And I think this is a great way, if you have friends who aren't cybersecurity people, who are gamers, I think this might be a fun way to get them involved in cybersecurity in general. So, those are my recommendations, or what really what I watched, um... And some things that I thought was really interesting at DEF CON this year. Uh, I, for sure, I've missed things, though. I didn't watch everything. I didn't even watch all of the things that I recommended um, because there's a limited number of hours in the day. Uh, I tend to watch videos as they're recommended to me, so I'm sure I'll find some other interesting ones as I usually... I got last year's DEF CON things pop up way after um, DEF CON had finished. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have more suggestions of things that I should be watching or you think people watching should be watching, um, please put them in the comments. I think they might get uh, moderated, but that's fine, I'll just accept them. Um, if you have direct links or just put the name of the uh, talk in there. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you learned at DEF CON, uh, if there's anything that particularly resonated with you, even if it's not something you want to recommend to other people, but just something interesting you watched. 
Um, I will see you all next week. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody.